Welcome to Lecture Online. The third way to solve linear equations is setting the two equations equal to each other. Now, they need to be in the right format to do that, so I'm going to rewrite the second equation. I'm going to write it as y equals minus x plus 4. When I send the minus y to the left side, it becomes positive. The x to the right side becomes negative. Now I have two equations, y equals 2x minus 5, y equals minus x plus 4. So that means if y is equal to this, and y is equal to that at the same time, that must be the place where the two lines cross, I can set the two equations equal to each other, which means I can say that at that point where the two lines cross, 2x minus 5 must equal minus x plus 4. And that's what we mean by setting the two equations equal to each other. All right, now we solve this equation for x. So here we get 2x, when we bring the minus x over, becomes plus x is equal to 4. The minus 5 to the other side becomes plus 5. So we have 3x is equal to 9, divide both sides by the coefficient in front of x, we get x is equal to 3, which means where the two lines cross, the x-coordinate is equal to 3. Now to find the y-coordinate, all I have to do is plug the x back into one of the two equations. So I can then take the second equation, or in this case the first equation, that says y is equal to 2x minus 5, and then plug this value in for x, we get y is equal to 2 times 3, minus 5, y is equal to 6 minus 5, or y is equal to 1. There's the y coordinate of the solution, so finally we can say that the solution, the place where the two lines cross, is where x equals 3 and y equals 1, so therefore the solution, we can say that it's 3 comma 1. That's the location on the x-y axis where the two lines cross, and that's therefore the solution to the two lines on the board. That's how we do that.